You may think pepper season's over. Does it look like it's over? No. We've got a beautiful pepper from Peru, the Caja Marca chili, that we're going to dive into and taste today. So stick around for just a few minutes, and we're going to have yet one more hurrah of the pepper season of 2018. All right, so let's dive in. Uh, we've got this beautiful plant that has these crazy cool pods that go from green to white to purple to orange to a really beautiful um, kind of vibrant red. And let me grab one and see if there's one. There we go. It's kind of a waxy, pretty thick wall. It feels like pod. And it's just got a really lovely color. You see that kind of orange red, um, like the enchilada red almost that they painted the San Antonio Library. Um, yeah, just a beautiful pepper. Um, give it a little rinse real quick. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is, a, like, I, like I was saying, this is from Peru. And uh, I've heard uh, varying reports on both heat and flavor. Heat, I've heard compared to habanero, and I've heard compared to jalapeno when I was researching. And that's confusing because they both taste really different. And then on the heat level, I've heard a lot of different things. Uh, none placing it hotter than a habanero, or even as hot, but a lot of variance between down way milder than a jalapeno to all the way up to, you know, pretty close to a habanero. So, you know, it's not going to be a crazy one, but it is a big pod though. And from looking at the top, that's a big old thick hunk of placenta in there. Um, so it should be uh, invigorating for me. Yeah, so we split it right down the middle. And we hit, whoa. Ooh. It smells good. Chinensi uh, kind of smell, but then also fruity citrusy and if you look inside like it's kind of uh well i mean it's not supposed to be that hot but you know i'll be damned that's not a lot of placenta a little bit of visible oil in there on the inside just a tiny bit yeah you can't really tell but not a lot just a little bit but there is a lot of placenta a fair bit of oil it doesn't smell super hot but i've come to find out that really doesn't actually mean a whole lot but it oh man it smells vaguely like a habanero uh, like like a more chinensi habanero, but it does have a really nice like fruity, bright, vibrantness about it. Um, that should be interesting. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Uh, there, ooh, there's a weird little black spot on the very end, so I'm just gonna cut that little piece off. There we go. Okay, now I feel better. Oh, man, this really sm it smells almost a little bit also like a Tabasco pepper, kind of like a sweet a sweetness. Hmm. That really smells good. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, the Caja Marca chili from Peru. Uh, we will now taste and find out what lies within um, on our quest for chili enlightenment, which is going well, I think. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, I tell you what, that's really delicious. That's a really, really good pepper. Oh man, that's right, right up there. I don't... <coughs> it's supposed to be like milder, according to most of the things I read. Where I'm sitting right now, this isn't very mild. They never are, but it's real stingy, you know, kind of aggressive, you know, quick. Ignition kind of burn. Burns a little bit like a habanero. I don't think it's as hot yet. But, no, oh, man, you know, I think it's, it's pretty hot. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Um, nice, fruity. Um, almost like a capsicum fruit ascendance kind of flavor. Like a midpoint flavor wise of like a habanero. Ah. Uh, and Tabasco? Pepper, not the sauce, but like the pepper itself. That's really nice. 
like really, really nice. I'm amazed at how delicious that is. It's so good. It's, it's pretty hot. Um, it's not like incapacitating hot, but a uh, little bit of uh, the vapors. Roof of the mouth sting, lip, tongue sting, kind of upper back of the throat sting. Like a habanero, it's really, really aggressive, like with the ears. Uh, yeah, man, that's pretty hot. Whew. Um, luckily, so this is kind of a comically big pepper, like for a chili. Not like a poblano or something, but it's a pretty, like, humorously big pepper. I brought the humorously big beer. Look at that. Uh, the champagne of beer. How I, so I'm just going to put it right here. Uh, it's good medicinal uh, uh, use of beer. Put the cold can on your neck when you're burning. <laughs> yeah, it's um, uh, it's getting close to peaking, I think. Whew. Endorphins are starting to arrive. Cheers. Beer foam. You cannot go wrong with a mouthful of beer foam when you're on fire. Oh, yeah. Nice endorphin rush. A little bit of tingling in front of the face and whatnot. Not insanely hot. Not in the super hot territory, but like a good, nice, invigorating burn. Um, yeah, it's peaked, I think. Um, beer to that thing where it makes it better and then worse. Uh, yeah, that's a delicious pod, though. Man, it really is. Ah. Delicious, flavorful, uh, prolific, beautiful, and hot. Pretty, really pretty hot. Uh, surprised at how hot it was. Um, I think pound for pound is probably not as hot as a habanero, but it's a big, it's a lot of pie. It's a big pie, so it really does get you pretty good. Uh, but boy, it's really delicious and really worth it. Got a great aroma going. Great stingy bird, real stingy. Um, Nice little dwarf rush, like just a pretty good time. I, I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite uh, chili pepper tastings. Um, I love the super, super hot ones. They're fun and stuff, but on days where you, you know, you just kind of want to go about your business after, um, this is a really good one. It's interesting. It's different enough in flavor to warrant uh, its own tasting, you know, and it's like a, a weird love child of, of Tabasco pepper and a habanero, and I really do like it a lot. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, thanks for watching, man. Uh, thanks for watching. It's uh, 278 subscribers. I don't know. That's crazy, man. That's crazy business. And I, I really like all 278 of y'all. Y'all make me so, so happy. And I appreciate you so much. And uh, I'm going to keep on doing this, man. Like, uh, you know, pepper season is, is, it's, the end is coming. Like, it's, it's there. It's real. It's not here yet, though. And, uh, there's plenty more hot sauces to be had. Um, uh, coming up, I've got a special travel, uh, video, a couple of videos that I'm going to keep, uh, uh, keep my hat on for now. But, uh, getting on a plane on Thanksgiving Day to go on a cool adventure. And y'all are coming with me. And we're going to, uh, get real spicy up in paradise. Uh, that's going to be fun. So stick around. Click subscribe. Uh, Click like if you enjoyed the video. Click the bell. You'll be notified every time I get down. And uh, stick with me uh, here very soon for Chili Chun in Hawaii. YouTube, say happy birthday to my daughter. Happy birthday, everyone. Thank you. Happy birthday! <laughs> Just took it.